Hello, I'm Chris Houghton uh, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Kwinana Industries Council. So what's Kwinana Industries Council? Well, we're an industry association incorporated back in 1991 and we're basically an equivalent of a Chamber of Commerce. And we're located about 30 kilometres southwards down the coast from the Perth CBD. In terms of our membership, we have 14 what we categorise as full members and about 20 uh, that we categorise as associate members. The Western Trade Coast has four industrial suburbs. Uh, to the north, there's the Australian Marine Complex, or AMC, that's where the shipbuilding and um, advanced subsea manufacturing occurs. Uh, south of there is the old heavy industrial core along the coast, basically running southwards from Alcoa down to Nickel West. Uh, that's that's uh, been around. The first company that went into there was BP about nearly 60 years ago. The, the Quinana Industrial Area Core is pretty much full now. Uh, south from there we have the Rockingham Industry Zone uh, and that is, it looks pretty much empty but there's an awful lot of industrial activity centred on that area. So um, much of what, what is seen as empty land is actually either leased, sold or optioned to be leased or sold by Development WA. So um, if you're looking at going in there, or you're a company looking at going there, be quick. The rest of the area, uh, known as Latitude 32, to the north and, and east, that's largely undeveloped. So that's where we see the expansion of the industrial core could go, but it's a long way from being ready yet. Over, over the years, Quinana Industries Council has built up a pretty good reputation uh, for respectful dialogue with, with government uh, and other, uh, that's departments as well as elected personnel and also in the local governments. So state, federal and local. Um, we, my job is primarily uh, to, to act in the collegiate interests of our members uh, and that from time to time involves trying to influence government uh, around things like protection of the buffer zone uh, and debottlenecking freight road and port transport um, constraints that exist on industry. So, so that influencing um, scan, uh, spans across many different aspects of, of what affects industry on a day-to-day -day basis.